All right, guys, welcome back. My truck is just, it's just too dirty right now. But what we're doing right now is selling off. Real quick, I got to make sure I don't miss this. There we go. We're going to be selling bales. And right now we're getting $2,900 a bale, which is pretty good. And I'm going to take advantage of that because I know by the time I, next, I sell next, the prices are going to be dropping. And what we got is we got a good amount of bales out in the field right now. I'm going to be pulling those just to keep our money and cash flow kind of rolling. And again, take advantage of the $2,900 or $2,900 price right now for cotton, which is well above average. And I just need to, I need to start selling bales at this time because when we actually get on harvesting 44 and 38 and we have a stockpile, it's not going to be a good time to sell. So I might as well take advantage of what I got and we are harvesting right now. We got the workers running 44, 38, and that's going to be knocked out 43. I should probably get that planter going. But again, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on selling bales until I get most of the bales cleaned up, and then we will go from there, start the planner, and kind of continue our chore work. But it's kind of fun starting the video off when we're making some money, doing some sales, and like the title says, we are in, we are in first place. We are officially officially in first place. It feels really good to say that. Uh, there we go. And then I ha I do have some concerns. Okay, one of our helpers stopped. I think okay, it was that guy. That's fine. We'll, we'll, or I can get them running over here. We'll do that when I get full. I've got some concerns I want to address and some answers, some questions I want to answer. I don't know why I started off. Uh, anyway, I have some questions I want to answer. So a lot of people said that we were cheating and that it was unfair what we were doing, that we had three people, Owen, myself, and Gorilla Man playing. But compared to Team team 5, you guys were saying, like, because I we're kind of, it's pretty much Team 3, Verse team five, but we're there. Me and Gorilla Man and Owen and our team three. But at a time, team five had Stevio, Austin Farmer, and somebody else on there. At a time, like the first few days when they really took the lead, they had three people on there. And there were, if people are saying there's some sort of rule where if you have three people on there, it's not that's like against the rules but team five had three people three people on there whether or not they're doing that now honestly it doesn't really matter like they broke the rules and they didn't pay for it anyway and nobody's really enforcing them so we're, we're pretty much just playing like they did uh in my opinion and so yeah i just wanted to address that some people were saying we we're cheating in the comments we are not and if we are the other teams cheated too which the only other team that cheated is our direct competitor besides team two wow there we go. Team two has three players as well. We are officially not cheating. We had three players. Then everybody's cheating. So, uh, but I, we are hiring more than uh, two workers at a time. Right now, I'm hiring three, and I was just hiring four. But other people, are, let's see, are other people doing that too? I don't know. I I do admit we probably are hiring more people than maybe others are. But honestly, nobody's enforcing it, and. As long as I know, nobody's really told us anything of it. And the other teams can do it too, I guess. It, it is a little gray area. I will admit we might be hiring more workers. But honestly, we, we mostly are hiring more workers due to our lack in staff. And like, at first, we were really not moving very fast and compared to the other teams. But I don't know. Honestly, I feel it's pretty fair. We are officially in first place with $28.6 million. I'll get to 30 by the end of this selling. And Team 5 is at 27. So they're right behind us. Less than a million away. But it feels good to say, at least for now, we're in first place. And I'm actually leaving to go on vacation for like four days. So I won't be... I'll kind of be on here. It'll, you'll see. You'll see. So I won't be able to put in as much time. So I'll kind of see... The following Monday, the upcoming Monday, when I get back, what we're at. But that's kind of a debrief. Pretty much all I wanted to say. Now I need to get, put my head down, get to work. Let's pick up these bales and we will go from there.
you're gonna think I'm really, really dumb. So I was driving, just pulling the last few bales, and I, I probably shouldn't talk for too long because I need to keep, hurry up and sell these. Pulling the last few bales off the field, I can't get into my vehicle right now. So I was driving, I was driving from, I was like just right here, I was driving, then all of a sudden I got stuck. And I was like, wait, we're lagging. And I was like, okay, it's just gonna lag. Like two seconds later, we'll shoot forward, no big deal. But no, now it's still sitting here. I've never ever had had this happen to me. Thousands of hours playing Farm Simulator. Never have I ever had this happen. Or my, maybe it's happened to you guys. Let me know in the comments. Has this happened to you? The truck completely stopped. The trailer stopped. I can't get in it. I can't turn. I was in it. I could actually, then I was like, after like a minute of waiting, I was like, wait, I can press escape. Wait, I can press E. And then I can tab. Oh, wait, I can't tab around. Wait, I can't tab around. That's weird. And I can't, I can't go to other vehicles. I wonder if I can get inside other vehicles. This is super weird. Here, can I get inside this helpers? Wait. Wait a second. Everything is frozen. Okay, everybody's on here and they aren't moving. I can't, can I visit places? I can can I get inside that vehicle? I cannot. I cannot. All my hired workers are frozen. Has this ever happened to you? Super interesting. Super curious. Is time moving? Is the whole world... Okay, there it is. I've lost connection. That's it. So I lost connection. And it took like five minutes for that to, uh, to tell me. Cool. Alright, so we have a bit of a problem. That... The game crashed. You saw that. That was a pretty rookie mistake by me. And we, it, it, the game crashed and it screwed everything up. We lost about half the work I did during this whole entire thing. Let's actually see. I think I think I would have made a few sales. Here, let's look. Do I have the taste? Okay, the place isn't tagged. So I don't know if I've even started making a sale. So there's the 2900. So if you don't know, guys, what I mean... What, I, I should probably explain myself a little better. The game didn't save, meaning the last time it saved, it is, it's up to that point. So all the work that I did at the beginning of this video kind of kind of went away. So that time lapse of me running around picking up all the oops, picking up all the bales is gone. That is gone. Uh, it should have automatic saving. But I but there's a gap in between. It doesn't automatically save every second. There's like Maybe every like 30 minutes or something if an if an admin which I should be logged in as one right now doesn't save it like periodically or right before it crashed then it'll just go to the last time it saved which is yeah, some of you are probably familiar with that very annoying and we lost all that effort and time well we were so close to the 30 million I wanted to get to 30 million and then be done selling bales but oh well we're we're gonna we're gonna put some more work in we're gonna get that done that's uh that's a dilemma but we're gonna push through it but this time i'm not taking the roads i'm going the fastest way there so it's rough but yeah i'll let you guys know when i'm done with this and i did get the planner started so yeah we got that out of the way and i should probably when i sell this you know what, i'm gonna clean off my truck for your guys enjoyment and uh we'll put that little soapy thing on the end of my power washer i i always see that in like videos when people clean off like their dirt bikes and stuff it's it's got there's like a little soapy thing uh, at the end of it or like a, even a garden hose. There we go. We hit 29 million already hit that once but There's a thing that you can put at the end of the garden hose and I should probably fill up with uh, fuel too And it makes like everything soapy and it, it's supposed to be like a professional like finish, but honestly, I don't think it's that Can I even fill up this uh, this place will have been acting really weird. It doesn't really work, but oh Well, hopefully we don't run out of fuel. Let's go ahead and wash her down and the trailer, everything gets so filthy. There's no point in washing it, guys, because we just run it to the ground. Uh, yeah, we need to fill up the transfer tank there. I guess, is it an auxiliary or a transfer tank? It's, or is it an L one? I think it's an L. Yep, it's an L. It's an L. It's a transfer tank, I believe. It's it, You don't know if it's a transfer or an auxiliary tank unless you have the, like, inside baffling. Um, but, yeah. An auxiliary tank, you can actually, like, connect I think I don't know I, I know there's a way you can tell from the outside but anyway three two one boom 
All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're clean. I'm feeling fresh. Just took a nice shower. Let me get to work. So we did it. We are at $30.3 million actually. And there's a few more bales in field 38. I need to get this guy going, finishing up this half of the field. And Owen joined me as well. So we're really picking up the pace now. But I, I did my goal for the day. It was to knock us towards $30 million. And I'm going to be gone on vacation. And hopefully Gorilla Man and Owen and Artist can pick up the slack. But we have Team 3 with 30.3 million. Team 5 with 27.8. And once I get this guy started, here, yeah, I'll get this guy started. Then we're going to head over to Team 5's farm. We're going to do a little bit of... Uh, Market research, we're gonna see exactly how our competitor is doing, what they're doing, how they're doing it, and okay, probably not that much, but we're, we're pretty much gonna figure out if they have cotton bales stacked up, meaning stockpiled and saved up for when the price is perfect to sell, and kinda how it is, so what we're trying to find out, do they actually have $27 million, or do they really have like 30, and they just haven't sold, and they're waiting for that perfect moment to strike that uh should be able to first need to unfold the low loader all right there we go all right so i'm gonna be taking my k30 over there i don't think they've seen me in this before i'll wash it off too so i just like a random pedestrian we're gonna go over there and we're gonna see if they have bales stacked up or not and then we're gonna see how much we can kind of guesstimate how much we're actually winning by and if we are even winning and they just haven't even sold yet so there we go let's go ahead head on over my nice red interior this was the pickup truck i personally picked out and we're heading over to okay what color is team five is pink probably drive up guys i'm not as you've noticed i'm not going for the most realistic team uh, like whatsoever. So pink is in. Oh, they're kind of all spread over the map. Oh, we got some air. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry about that. We got a little bit of air. I mean, I was never the most realistic driver, but that was pretty rough. Here, let's actually let's go towards the road. We'll head down. We'll head down here and over there. But where's their actual farm? See, I haven't even really checked in on our competition, but yet they have been over here every second they get to see what we're doing, to to say to to say excuses why we're why we're gonna beat them. So I don't know. I think that's kind of funny. All right, where are we going? One thing that's pretty nice about this truck too is is the interior. The gauges work. You got to pick out your seat color, and it honestly looks pretty good. So okay, I need to find where is a road that's gonna take me all the way down there. There is none, boys. I'm taking my own road. We're just heading straight south, and we're going to go visit up on our boys. So let's see. They got a bail barn here. They got a gas station there. That's a different team. And the bail barn. Um, It's either here. I could. Do All right, so we just jumped a pretty big creek there, but I could just head over there through like teleporting but i'm gonna drive over i think that's a little more enjoyable for you guys and then it's either here this guy oh it, it's here it's here all right we'll drive down there i was gonna say their equipment wasn't popping up oh my goodness look at that little tractor there my truck's bigger than that all right we got a much a little bit more to go let me actually kind of start driving down the interstate here honestly the cops haven't been doing that good in the tournament they haven't been monitoring too good, but that's what I expect. The tournament, two weeks of somebody sitting in a virtual game playing a police officer gets pretty, pretty boring. I, I do understand that. Just when everybody follows the rules when you're on, then when you get off, everybody, everybody breaks the rules, which, yeah. So, all right, we just ran over like a, 10 birds. It's cool. It's cool. All right, let's go ahead and head over here see what they are doing they got some sandy roads what a bunch of losers all right so they got obviously they have cotton planted Ooh, it's all growing that's not a good sign so they have yep they have all cotton everybody is doing cotton now because yep look at that we started it here and now everybody is following suit or they're doing soybeans cotton or soybeans are the are the two things and as you can tell i think what is it team Team uh, two 
just started really picking it up and honestly like they're gonna start really getting underway but they, they are personally I don't think there's enough time for them to catch up so these guys got a lot of e, a decent amount of equipment I'm not sure why they have a truck and grain you know grain carts if they're if they're doing just cotton but maybe they thought no I think the plan was for them they weren't gonna do cotton at first then they saw we were making so much money and they were gonna do cotton so it looks like they have a bit stacked up not too much sitting about a million dollars right there nothing crazy nothing yeah nothing too crazy the only worry is okay so person realistically they have they have 29 million so we're neck and neck honestly and so they have one two three four five six so they have more fields than us but honestly if we just keep it rolling there's that not that much downtime but they are this is pretty interesting they are growing pretty much everywhere besides these two fields so they are planted we are in the middle of planting and harvesting at the same time i am uh i'm gonna wrap up today's episode here that is kind of where i'm looking and what we're what we're doing so far we are officially in the lead it's good to uh feels good to be in the lead that's for sure Grilla Man's pretty much going to take us over. Owen, artist, they're going to fill in for me, and it's going to be interesting. I'll get back the, uh, I'll, I'll actually, I'll miss the whole entire tournament. So, guys, I'm going to miss the end of the tournament. That's why you won't see us winning, hopefully. Hopefully, it's going to be us winning. I'm going to miss, I'll be back Monday, which I think is the closing day, but I'm not sure. We'll see how it all works out for now. We are in the lead, and the K30 looks really, really good right here. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching so much. This might be the last episode for me of the tournament, but Chow might break out. So, hopefully you guys can see some Chow episodes on the channel. We'll see if Chow gets out. Um, and, yeah, and then after that, we're going to be starting some cool new stuff. So, thank you all so much for watching. This has been uh, a good little series we've gone here. I really, really hope we win. It actually, at first, I thought we were going to lose, and I was just going to kind of go through the motions, but... We, uh, Grillman really put his nose down, and I, I felt like I was able to up out the team, too. I was putting in some hours, but, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And, yeah, that's it. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.